What's up everybody? Anthony from Granddaddy Herps and I've been asked several times over the years, you know, how do I edit my videos? Any tips? Any pointers? Uh, my buddy Hugh Jorgen recently, you know, was asking for some tips and, you know, we were talking about videos and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a video on using Windows Movie Maker. Um, I use that for the majority of my videos just because it's quick, simple and if I'm just trying to make a quick video edit, I use that. Um, I also use, um, whatchamacallit, um, oh, I can't think of the name right now, it's been a little while since I used it, but it's uh, Sony uh, Sony Vegas Pro, there we go. Um, if I really am feeling like a long edit, and I really want to get details and stuff like that, I'll use that. That I'm not going to make, make a video on because there's just so much to it that it's just one of those things you're going to have to watch a lot of videos and learn a little bit at a time to be able to master, master that. So... Um, what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to I'm going to record some footage of uh, this snake and one other snake just because I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how to edit a video so I'm going to make it like just a brief couple clips of these of two snakes and then I'll show you guys how to edit it and make it like a pretty cool looking little video. Um so I'm going to cut out and you guys are going to see me edit the footage that I record right now. What's up everybody? Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to edit your videos and the way I'm able to make this video happen is I have an Elgato um, capture card. I did start a gaming YouTube channel at the beginning of the year and I kind of did a couple videos didn't follow up with it because I I really didn't like the setup I had um, in my daughter's room but working on buying a house so I'll be moved in next month I'll have my own space to where I'll start up the gaming stuff back up to where Again, I'll have my own space. It'll all be dedicated, and you know, I want to see where where I can go with that. But anyways, besides the point, I have an Elgato capture card. That's the software that you're staring at right now. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys how to edit your videos using Windows Movie Maker, which you see here. So let me minimize this. And I'm also using a uh, a Blue Yeti microphone. Um, I have some pretty solid equipment. So basically. Most Windows laptops and desktops are going to come with Windows Movie Maker. If not, you can go to Google, um, type in Windows Movie Maker, and you should be able to find it, download it, very simple, or uh, look up a YouTube video, obviously. So, so basically what you do when you open Windows Movie Maker is you're going you're gonna to have a blank canvas, so you're, gonna, you're not going to see all these video clips. All I did, uh, just I wanted to save time, I didn't want to make this video too long, was... I had all my video clips prepared um, and I also have some music clips in here so all I did was just you know you can highlight do whatever you want you just drag the clips down here and then you know you just let them go right here and it'll import all that stuff for you so basically what I do is I have this image that I edited right here through Photoshop I always stick that in the beginning because that's that's my intro um, so let's double click to fix um, let me see what's going on here. There we go. Good thing I was able to fix this very quickly. Um, okay, so uh, follow the mouse. So duration. What this is is it's how long the uh, the duration of the clip is going to be. I always shorten this to four seconds because I don't like it to be too long. Okay, so here if you go to the home screen, it's already gonna set it to like your uh, your screen resolution. Um, you can also change it by going to project, changing. You know if you want it standard. I always do widescreen because YouTube's widescreen. But you don't have to mess with any of this stuff. You know this is when you want to really explore and kind of mess around. Um, it's this program is very basic animations. What that is is it allows for transitions. What a transition is is um, the time or the um, the edit in between one clip to to the other. So you can click any of these, and when it transitions, you can get one of these. The one I use the most is either solid black, solid white, or the one that just makes it kind of blend in together. But I like using the black. So when it goes to the next clip, it turns black and then blends into the next clip. Also, what I do visual effects will change the picture uh, visually. So let me click on this clip. Actually, I need to go back to this one and select, select it back to blank. 
But anyway, let me go back to this clip. So if I click blue, you're gonna see it turn blue. Obviously, this is gonna change this. What I like to do is I click this one so at the very beginning of the video, it fades into the clip, okay? And then uh, you see how the transition's still there. So the black, so it fading into black and then out to black is how I like my intro, okay? Now, these are a bunch of raw clips. Now, a lot of people will ask me about music and stuff like that. So you're gonna go to YouTube, I'll tell you how to do music and not get your videos flagged. If you go to my channel, right here on the left side, you click on views. I'm sure there's a shorter way, but this is just how I found it. You click on the views. You see this create. You go all the way down to create. And this will actually take you to free music that you can use for your videos. So you can hit the play button to listen to them. And if you want to download them, you just hit this arrow. Now, most videos, you see how it says you're you're free to use this song and monetize your video. That means you don't have to include the title or the song in your description in order to use it. Let me see if I can find one, but you'll find some like this one. You're free to use this song and monetize your video, but you must include the following in your video description. So what you gotta do is you gotta copy this whole thing, include it in your description, that way your video doesn't get flagged if you monetize your videos. What monetizing means is that Google will pay you you know, not that much, but they'll pay you to allow ads to be placed on your videos. And you need to have this in your description in order to avoid um, them demonetizing your videos. Okay. So that's how you get music. So I already have music selected in a folder. So I'm going to use this, this video clip here. Okay. I'm going to drag it down here. I'm just going to let it go. Okay. And then I can move this wherever I want it. I like to have it right when the transition ends, okay? So you can hear the song. Now that's too loud, especially if you wanna hear the person talk. So this is what you do. You click this, you're gonna see music tools pop up. And then you click options. This gives you full control over, over the song. What I always do is I go to music volume and I select this down to you know, about a quarter of the way. That way you can still hear me talk, okay? Now, um, let me find, okay, my first clip I think is this one. What's up everybody? Yep, and okay, so I wanna put this in the beginning because that was technically my intro, okay. What's up everybody? Anthony from Grand Did you hear how the music starts? As soon as, the, actually, you know what? I forgot to add the transition. So you wanna add the transition. I like the black, okay. What's up everybody? Anthony from Granddaddy Hertz. See, so you guys are used to hearing that, right? Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but down in the bottom right corner, I always throw in a logo. Um, how I did that was, um, so you go to caption, so you go to home, caption. I actually found a font I really liked, okay? Now, what I do is I hit the space bar, G, D, H, okay? The reason why I hit the space bar, I give it one space, is because it kind of helps push it in that far right corner. And then you see this big letter A right here? You click that and that'll automatically increase the size. I always put it to 36. Then I go drop down and I look for the font I want. A lot of these fonts are imported. If you wanna know how to import fonts, um, I might do that in another video. You know, I wanna make this reptile related. I don't wanna do a lot of video editing stuff, but I can probably show you guys. So I click and I drag it as far right as I can. Put it right here. Then I go to the color and I click black, okay? Want to drop it as low as I can, so that's as far in the corner as I can get it. Over the years. Now there's an animation that you can use for this too, so it automatically adds the I windows where you can do animations. So just for this purpose, I'm going to silence the music real quick so you can hear me talk. So I'm going to turn off the music, go to text. Okay. You know how do I edit my videos? Okay, so see there's an animation for the logo watch i've been asked several look at the logo pay attention to the logo i've been asked okay i've been asked several times or you I've can have this one i don't recommend because it'll go in slow i like to just throw in like this one right here so at the beginning of the video when it transitions you're going to see it pop up when i say granddaddy herbs and oh I've see it was too late so i can actually click this drag it right over there so, so when it says Granddaddy Herbs, it pops up. Granddaddy Herbs. See? And it's just I've those little details times. that just really 
step up the game on your video edits. So let's just watch this quick intro real quick. You guys see this in all my videos. What's up, everybody? Anthony, Anthony from Grand Editor. Editor. Boom, and then and the logo pops up. I've been asked several okay. times. Now the rest of the video editing is just cutting, pasting clips that you like, you don't like. So here I just say, years, you know, how do I edit my videos? You know, any tips? Any the intro. Uh, my buddy Hugh Jorgen. Okay. The video on. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna skip all this video talking. Edit, I use that. I'll use it, but it's a uh, Sony. Uh, and Sony then video. I'm gonna actually edit this video um, using this same program once I'm completely done, to then um, have this intro that you're seeing now, and then, yeah, it's, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done. Pro, there we go. That I'm not gonna make master that. So, and so what I'm listening for is like the pause. Play. Okay, so this is gonna actually be the intro to this video. Like a pretty cool looking little video. Okay, so now what I want to do is okay. Here's the white snake. I'm gonna move all the white snake clips to the front because I know that's what I originally started recording. So now what I want to do is I'm trying to find clips of this girl sitting still. And you're gonna see me fight with her a lot, okay? Now I don't think there's, I don't think I really got any good footage of her sitting still. So what I might have to do is use like a slow motion feature once I get her to sit still. So once I get her to sit still, I'm gonna pause the video. No, okay. It's all about, and you know most snakes will sit still. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit, split. All the footage up until this point is useless. So you just click it to highlight it and just hit delete. Now all that all that wasted footage is just out, out the window. So now you're just working with what's important. Okay, so now let me see. Okay, she's moving, she's moving. Okay, I can slow motion that clip by going to see the speed. I can put that as slow as I want. If I go to 0. 0.125, look how far it extended my clip. So now if you hit play, I'm able to get her you know, moving slow. Now that's too slow, okay? Let's get it to a quarter, a quarter speed, okay? That's still a little too slow for my liking. It, it just looks too choppy because she's moving a lot. So half, half the speed. See, there's a nice little clip of her, you know, if I wanted to add that into my video, but I still don't like that clip. I'm, you know, I, I am kind of picky with certain things. Okay, so there's a clip of, of her, that I push her the other way. Boom. So right here. Again, split, delete. Now see that that clip's not good either. She moves around too much. Okay. So you can see I'm trying to like find a, a good position. Okay, boom. I paused it there because all that's wasted footage. I don't need it. Okay, delete. There's her coming out so fast. Like, I can't do anything with that footage. I mean, sorry to waste your time, guys, but I'm just trying to teach you kind of step by step. That was pretty, that was pretty good, kind of. No, I don't like any of that footage either. So, let's delete this. I'm gonna get something of her, but I have really good footage of the next snake, like really good footage. I just wanna show something of her so that way I can like transition and show you a different snake. Okay. Okay. That's actually good footage I can use right there. Okay, so let me get it to when my hands disappear. Boom. Okay, split. Okay. And then right here I'm gonna delete this footage. So, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Okay, the music, I'm going to bring it here because I'm going to, I'm, we're going to start it here. Okay, that's where we're officially going to start this video edit because I have the intro, which is this huge section here, but the actual editing that we're going to have is going to really start here. So, the GDH, I can leave it where it is because that's the final result going to include that in the clip, but I want the music to transition right here. So, let me go to the animation. Let me throw a transition. So, Basically, when we get from the clip right before here, I'm gonna rewind it up just a little bit. We edit the footage that so I it's gonna transition right and go now. into what we're editing right now. Oh yeah, I forgot I silenced the music. 
I'm over here trying to teach you guys and I'm not even doing a good job. Okay. So let's just start from the transition. You hear the music? Okay. Also, another thing to note is that the transition will um, kind of rewind the clip a little bit too. So you got to be aware of that. If you know, if you remember, I just cut my hands out and my hands reappeared because it kind of rewinds the clip a little bit. You see that? So what I'm going to do is pause. Let me uh, get rid of the transition. Let's fix that. Okay. So my, oh, okay. My hand went in there again. So right there, that's where we're starting the clip. Okay. So we're deleting this. We're adding the transition. Okay. And then what you're also going to want to do is you, you can hear my tripod. So the actual video audio, we're going to shut that off completely. Okay. So now you're not going to hear the cracking of my tripod. Okay, now let's run it again. It should all be smooth. Oh, another thing too. My logo, let's go back to the logo just real quick. Um, I need to extend my logo. What I always do is just hit 1500 or 2000 hertz. That'll make and sure. I've been asked um, several times. That'll make sure that it goes all throughout the whole video to the very end, you see? Okay, so here, now let's go back. You hear a transition? See how the music influences the video? Okay, so, and another good tip is listen to the music, follow the beat. As soon as the beat is about to drop or switch, pause the video right at that very second and change your clip. So it, it basically starts that next beat into the next clip. Watch. Okay, so I need to rewind the beat drop like right here okay I'm gonna, just where my hands disappear I'm gonna split the clip okay so now basically I'm gonna try to find the next clip so this first section here it's really good it's perfect it's what we need so now I'm gonna find a way to edit into the next clip matter of fact let's just get to the next snake so we can shorten this video so I deleted that whole clip okay Now me, okay, so the music didn't really jump like I wanted to because it's it's an intro still on the music. It's starting slow. But you see that transition to the next snake? Okay, again, we want to silence the video audio, okay? Because you can hear the tripod. And I want to find the clips where I'm the most steady and the snake's going to stick its head out, so I'm just going to play it until it gets close to starting the head coming out okay her head's starting to come out okay so let me rewind a little bit I'm waiting for the camera to steady up too okay this is a good spot okay now I'm gonna delete everything before that again that's useless footage so let's add the transition again on average I spend about 20 30 minutes editing a video Okay, let's let it play. Now I'm gonna wait for that beat to drop in again, and then I'm gonna switch a different angle on her. Okay, do you hear it drop in? So I wanna find that exact moment it drops in. So it's about 52, no, it's right when it barely hits 53 seconds, 153. Okay, right here at about 60. I'm gonna split the clip right there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna find the next clip I wanna use. Let's get a different angle. Let's get, um, let me see. I'm trying to find a different angle I got on here. Yeah, let's use this clip. Okay, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna bring it here. Okay, so now watch watch what happens. Let me get it to right where it's about to transition. Uh, right here, now watch. 
You see that? Okay, I gotta make sure I silence this clip. You hear how the, the beat drops and then the clip switches. You, you wanna look for that, okay? That's gonna add some depth to the video. Okay. Let me fast forward, let me rewind it to a good spot here. ready so I timed it just right okay so now this clip it's all repetitive okay it's just me trying to mess with the zoom and stuff so this I'm gonna delete now I'm pretty sure this clip has like a like a zoom where I like pan the zoom or whatnot okay let's see I like the clip when it starts to zoom in like right about here so let me delete this I'm almost done guys I'm just gonna probably do this last clip and then I'll make an outro and we'll be done with this video perfect okay yeah that's all I'm gonna do in this video you guys get the idea so now let's add an outro, okay? So now that all your clips are there, you go back to home, credits. Same thing with the title. You can do a title that'll be at the very front of the video. Caption is so you can add a caption. Credits, throw something at the very end. So what I've been doing lately, again, space, GDH. Put this to the font I love to use. Let's blow this thing up really big, really big. Okay, and then we're gonna throw in this this edit right here or this um this tool. Okay, so okay. Now you can get real picky. Make sure it's all nice and center. You see how the G's cut off right here? That's why I add a space mark. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Just a little bit to the right. You guys get the point. Boom. Okay, and now same thing with the music and the volume. You can always add fade ins, fade out. So what that basically means is that when the music's about to end, the music will fade out. You hear it? Okay. Now what I like to do too is the last clip, I'll go back to the visual effects and have it fade out to black, which is this here. So watch. And then the music's gonna fade out too. And there you have it guys. That's that's really all there is to editing the videos. I mean, you know, you guys can get really creative, but this is basic software that I use to edit my videos. Um, what I use when I wanna make, again, the more detailed videos is I'll use uh, the Sony. Um, Sony Vegas Pro but hope you guys enjoyed this video guys um, I'm gonna now play the video all the way through so you guys can see the edit um, as always guys if you really enjoyed this video I you know it took me a lot of time uh, to kind of think about this and get it all put together for you guys but if you guys enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if this helped you please give it a thumbs up thank you guys see you guys later peace